Welcome to Off the Shelf with Christine and Katie. May is National Inventors Month, celebrating all the groundbreaking ideas and creations that have advanced society. So this month we have for you some STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math related suggestions, both fiction and nonfiction, about the inventions and the inventors themselves, as well as some fiction titles where the STEM kind of just plays in the background. Yes. So we hope you enjoy these titles and maybe even find a new favorite or two. Mm -hmm. So as always, settle in, grab a cup of your favorite beverage, and enjoy these recommendations. Mm -hmm. And as always, let us know in the comments what you think of these picks and if you have any titles to add. And as always, if you wish to be notified of new videos, be sure to like and subscribe below. Alrighty. Now, let's get, get to, to those, those books. books. So, Katie, why don't you get us started with, as we begin these great nonfiction mm -hmm. reads. Yes. So, you might have heard of this title this year, but our first recommendation is American Prometheus, The Triumph and Tragedy of J. Opera Oppenheimer by Kay Bird and Martin J. Sherwin. Uh, this is the biography of, as you might have heard, J. <laughs> Robert Oppenheimer, a physicist who led the effort to build the atomic bomb, and who later found himself confronting the moral consequences of this scientific process. Mm -hmm. And as you probably have heard already, but this novel is the basis for the Oscar award-winning movie Oppenheimer. Now, maybe you just want to know a little bit more about um, the nuclear uh, atomic bomb. Yeah. So we have The Making of the Atomic Bomb by Richard Rhodes. And this book explores the history of nuclear weapons, including the Manhattan Project. Reading like a character-driven suspense novel, the book introduces the players in the saga of physics, politics, and human psychology from FDR and Einstein to the visionary scientists who pioneered quantum theory and the application of thermonuclear fission. Yep. And going on to another famous mathematician, this is the story of Alan Turing. It's called Alan Turing, the Enigma by Andrew Hodges. <laughs> Sorry. And it is um, also on Hoopla for those who have our digital apps downloaded, uh, but to go on to the description, so this is the biography of the mathematician of whose cipher cracking transformed the Second World War. Mm -hmm. It's uh, taken on by British intelligence in 1938. He combined brilliant logic with a flair for engineering. Mm -hmm. Awesome guy. <laughs> yeah. In 1940, his machines, the basis for modern computers, were code-breaking the German Air Force Enigma enciphered messages and this is also the novel uh, that inspired the great and amazing movie yeah. uh, with Benedict Cumberbatch The Imitation Game and I highly love recommend it. love it all right next up we have Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shetterly and this is the true story of a team of African-American women mathematicians who served a vital role in NASA during the early years of the US space program as a result of their mathematical engineering skills, Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson participated in the early days of the program to send American astronauts into space. This is another book that has been adopted into yes. an excellent movie as well. And there will be many more mentions of these <laughs> book to movie adaptations. They're just wonderful stories, what happens to yeah. create these inventions. It's amazing. It's awesome. Okay, and another one that we'll see later became an amazing movie as well. It's The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot. And Henrietta Lacks was a patient who unknowingly donated cells to Johns Hopkins in 1951. And this is the kickoff of this great story. Mm -hmm. Henrietta Lacks' cells began what was the first, and for many years, the only human mm -hmm. cell line able to be reproduced infinitely. Her story, her impact on medical science, and important bioethical issues are the basis mm -hmm. for this novel. Her cells, which are known today as HeLa cells, remain a remarkably durable and prolific line of cells used in research all around the world. Yeah. Also adopted, like we mentioned before, into a really great movie. Yeah, um, friends of mine who worked in the pharmaceutical industry mm -hmm. actually worked with HeLa cells. Oh, really? And they said, you know, they had no idea the, the yeah. background history to these. And the family wasn't aware either. Yeah. So it's a very interesting story. So now we have a little kind of quirky book. It's called <laughs> The Disappearing Suit. Boom and other true tales of madness, love, and the history of the world from the periodic table of the elements by Sam Keane. It's inspired by the periodic table. The disappearing spoon tells tales of the elements throughout history. From Dimitri Mandelby's initial organization of the periodic table to the race to discover new elements to the roles of various that various elements have played in war, medicine, and art. So basically each element has yes. a, a story either of its history, of its discovery, 
or what impact it played. So really definitely for your science geeks. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of going towards the math end, our next recommendation is the great book and movie A Beautiful Mind by Sylvia Nassar. And this is a true story of John Nash, the math genius and professor at Princeton University, uh, who was a legend in his own right. Mm. Unfortunately, tragedy stuck uh, at age 30 when his schizophrenia materialized and began to affect his day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. Through the support and care of his wife and the loyalty of the mathematics community, he emerged decades later to win the Nobel Prize. Mm -hmm. uh, this this novel is the inspiration. Um, this novel is the inspiration for the excellent movie of the same name, and I highly it's recommend it. Princeton still has some of the same setups the movie had, so I highly recommend oh, going to visit nice. too. Yeah, very nice. All right, next up we have an older scientist. And the book is Galileo's Daughter, a historical memoir of science, faith, and love by Dava Sobel. So using letters written to Galileo by his daughter, Marie Celeste, this book shows Galileo through her eyes. As a sequestered nun, she was interested in news of his inventions and the outside world, specifically to the familiar tale of Galileo's trial with the Inquisition for arguing that Earth moves around the sun and giving it gives a kind of new slant to that story in this biography. Okay. Yeah. And the next one we want to recommend is Thunderstruck by Eric Larson. And Thunderstruck tells the story of a famous murder case in London against the backdrop uh, against the backdrop of Guillermo Marconi and his invention of the wireless radio waves. Mm. Uh, the book presents a dual story timeline that offers both an absorbing murder investigation and an understanding of the impact of wireless communication on society. So it has dual things for you there. A little murder case there, yeah. a little science discovery. Sounds like fun. All right. Next up, a man we've all known, Benjamin Franklin, An Quite American a Life by Walter Isaacson. So now this book provides a detailed account of the many different aspects of Benjamin Franklin's life, both as a statesman, inventor, scientist, and satirist. It shows how this founding father was very instrumental in the development of the American character as well. Mm -hmm. So, Speaking of uh, additional people who invented American character, mm. this next book is called The Man Who Invented Motion Pictures, A True Tale of Obsession, Murder, and the Movies by Paul Fisher. And in 1980, Louis Le Prince was granted patents in four countries for his motion picture camera and projector. Uh, but just weeks before unveiling his invention to the world, he mysteriously disappeared and was never seen or heard from again. Mm. Dun dun dun. Um, but. <laughs> but three and a half years later, his rival, Thomas Edison, made the device public, claiming to have invented it himself. Mm. A thriller like history and the invention of the motion picture and the forgotten man behind it, this details his life, work, disappearance, and legacy. I really want to read that now. Yeah, that sounds I know. awesome. All right, next one we have up is The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Kumkwamba and Brian Mueller. William Kumkwamba was born in a small village in Malawi, withered by drought and hunger. He dreamed of building a windmill that would bring electricity and running water to his village, which are luxuries that only 2% of the country's population had. While neighbors said it was impossible, he would not let go of his dreams, and he used his old science textbooks to improvise a windmill, building it out of bicycle <laughs> and other scrap yard parts, and Wild. produced electricity for his family home, family's home. This is also a Netflix film. The adult version of this book, which was a New York Times bestseller, is available mm -hmm. in our Hoopla collection, more people are familiar with the Young Readers editions because a lot of um, high schools recommend yes, it for their summer reading list. Whole family can get in on reading this book. Exactly. So there's even a everyone. picture book I hear. So oh, that's yeah. cute. Okay, and the next one we want to recommend is called The Domestic Revolution, How the Introduction of Coal into Victorian Homes Changed Everything by Ruth Goodman. Go so, it. while the black cast iron range was the epitome of the Victorian era, it quickly became a quaint relic in the 21st century. Not so much anymore, though. Yeah, I'm going back to them. Yeah. Pretty much. However, Goodman proves that the hot coal stove provided more than just morning tea, uh, possibly even being the kickstart to the Industrial Revolution. Mm -hmm. Replacing wood with coal as a means of heating homes and fueling ovens altered the workload of women, which transformed society as well as industry. Yeah, and I think more of the comeback now is more mm -hmm. decorative, but it's kind of interesting yeah, yeah. to realize just how much um, labor was saved in that yeah. household you Makes know, sense. With this little invention. All right, so now we have some historical fiction for you about some of these inventors. Mm -hmm. We're going to start off with The Other Einstein by Marie Benedict. As in her previous novels, Benedict gives us a book highlighting a woman 
whose story remains largely unknown. Einstein's first wife, Mitza Marik. She was a brilliant physicist in her own right, and this book explores the debated theory that she made significant contributions to the special theory of relativity and was possibly a co-author, on, an uncredited co-author on his work. I didn't even know he was married, so this is really good to First know. First wife. Yeah, she was married twice. Oh, wow. Okay. Here's the this now. Okay, and the next one we recommend is called His Engineer, The Engineer's Wife by Tracy Ederson Wood. Uh, this is based on the life of Emily Warren Roebling when her husband and chief engineer of the Brooklyn Bridge Project, Washington Roebling, is injured on the job. She begins to play a major role in the bridge's construction. Untrained, but under his guidance, she begins to assume his role despite stern resistance and overwhelming obstacles. Yeah. I, I actually saw a little bit of a documentary on her and I'm mm -hmm. fascinated to read the book. Yeah, about yeah. This is cool. Her part in uh, engineering the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, next up we have Half-Life, a novel by Jillian Cantor. In 1891, Marie Curie, then Myra Sklodowska, was engaged to a mathematician, Kazimir Zorowski, but his mother disapproved of the match and he broke it off. Mm. Marie went on to study chemistry um, and physics and became the first woman to, woman to win the Nobel Prize. But what if she had stayed in Poland, married Kazimierz, at the age of 24 and never attended the mm -hmm. store-born or discovered radium. Hmm. Told in a dual timeline of reality versus the fictional what if, this novel actually explores that question. I see a lot of these what if stories sometimes. Yeah, so it goes back and forth between um, what she really did and what they imagine would have happened. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Yeah. And the next one we're going to recommend is called Hannah's War, a novel by Jan Ellisberg. Uh, this is a thrilling debut novel about a female scientist working to develop the first atomic bomb during World War II, and the young military investigator determined to, determined to uncover her secret past. Mm -hmm. While the book is about wartime life of a brilliant Jewish female physicist, Dr. Hanno Weiss, uh, it is largely based on the real genius Lise Meitner, who is largely unrecognized, surprise, as surprise. most unfortunately <laughs> are. <laughs> All right, so now math and science serve as the backdrop for these following fictional books. Yes, math and science. Good stuff. <laughs> all right, we're going to start off with one that might be a little bit spicy for all you romance buffs. It's called The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. Fake dating shenanigans abound in this steministic mm -hmm. rom-com. Rom oh, hang on a sec. Fake shenanigans abound in this steminist rom-com. Olive, a third-year biology PhD candidate, is trying to convince her best friend on into thinking that her dating life is going great. Of course. Of course. In order to convince Ann, she pretends to date her professor, Adam, a prominent professor in her department who is known for being hypocritical and a moody tyrant. She and Adam each have reasons for needing to be in a relationship, and they agree to pretend to date for the sake of appearances. Ah, uh, the fake dating trope. Now, if you like this kind of... She, uh, Allie Hazelwood, has a bunch of books in this yes. uh, seminist rom-com kind of thing, so she's a good author for that. Yeah, and one you probably have heard of as well, but if not, here's our introduction mm -hmm. to this. So this is Lesson in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmis. And this novel follows single, mo single mother Elizabeth Zott, a brilliant chemist in a man's world. 1960s America, as she becomes an unlikely and well-loved cooking show host and the role model her daughter deserves. This historical fiction tragic comedy is the author's debut novel, which mm. she wrote at 60 years old. Yeah. Awesome. All Good right, next up we have Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow Bro by Gabrielle Zevin. Two friends, often in love but never lovers, come together as creative partners in the world of video game design, where success brings them fame, joy, tragedy, duplicity, and ultimately a kind of immortality. You're not into video games, it really doesn't matter. It's uh, not the main focus. It's not the main focus, but it's really enjoyable for you people who do um, like video games. You get a nice little history of... The 1980s, 90s, and 2000s of the whole video game genre. Exactly. So that's your vibe. If not, it's a side story. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And the next one we're going to recommend is The Devotion of Suspect X by Kigo Hishigano. And this is a mystery in which Detective Kusanagi's physicist friend Yakawa, also known as Detective Galileo, see what we did there, <laughs> helps to solve a murder whose mastermind is a high school math teacher, Ishigami, who is in the store to cover up the crime for his next door neighbor, Yasuko. The novel immediately establishes how the murder happens and who the culprit is, and what follows is a cat and mask game between the two geniuses, Yukawa and Ishigami, trying to outthink each other. Wonderful use in math and science concept in the storyline, uh, and a surprise twist at the end as well. Mm -hmm. We read this uh, in our mystery book club, and it was the highest book rated so far. No one saw the twists coming. Uh, sure to generate a great discussion with friends or a book club. We cannot recommend this book highly Absolutely. enough. This is the third book in the Detective of Galileo series, and the first to be translated in English. Yes. <laughs> so you might wonder why I keep yes. going math here with all yes. these. Um, this. The idea for this video was um, presented to me by my son, who is a math statisticians mm -hmm. major in school, and um, it was really wonderful to yes, learn all nice. about these inventions and scientists and mathematicians. I'm surprised how many books are based on so these many of topics. These are just a few of yes. the many fiction and nonfiction books that we have found out there that are you know have a STEM-based backdrop, whether it's about an actual inventor or you know mathematicians and physicists going head to head to solve yes. a mystery. It, they're really, it's a really great uh, genre to explore. Very, very. Uh, so be sure to let us know in the comments if you have any favorites that we mentioned and what you think of these picks that we have here. Until next month, though, happy reading. Take care. Take care.